So in this video, I'm, I'm going to talk about 10 actors and characters that I want to see in the future of Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I want you to leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree, if you have your own ideas, leave them in the comments below and let's start a discussion about how we want to shape the future of the MCU. So the first one is an absolute must, and it's Wesley Snipes coming back as Blade. Now, it could be just a cameo or a comedy role. If Deadpool enters the MCU, we could have some sort of comedy scene with Blade and Deadpool, or perhaps his own TV show on Disney+. Plus. But but Blade is a fan favourite and it's also one of the original Marvel movies that's often forgotten. But having Wesley Snipes come back as a cameo would be great fan service, really fun and I think fans would love it. I personally would. And also Wesley Snipes is only 56 years old so he's still got that role where he can play both roles and have an older character and tell the story from an older character so it's a younger Deadpool with an older Blade in a comedy scene or a cameo role. Personally I think it would be fantastic. Now the next one is Enchantress and the best actress that's been rumoured is is Tabret Bethel and she may appear in 4 4 so she is the lover of 4 and together they have a child so it may be that 4 who's played obviously by Chris Hemsworth he enters into a relationship with Enchantress and that's him leaving his character moves on and it's passed on onto their child who may become character 15 or 20 years from now but having some sort of love interest for 4 would open up and make his character more interesting and having a character who resembles Enchantress and Tabret Bethel is quite a well known actress but she isn't mainstream so she has a lot of experience in acting she certainly looks the part and she could make that step up to a huge movie role now the next one is hercules and i think marvel would love to include this character it's a really obviously a standout character really memorable and jeff seed I might be saying his name wrong but he certainly looks the part his physique is very similar to hercules you can tell by the images however he is a bit young Hercules is mid 30s where Jeff I think is late 20 but he certainly looks the part now in if maybe in two or three years time as they develop a Hercules movie or him as a character in one of the movies I think Jeff Seed would be an excellent role now he doesn't have any acting experience but his physique certainly looks apart so if so if they were going to fulfill the role of Hercules they would have to go with a professional bodybuilder someone who has spent large parts of their life developing their physique to resemble Hercules and the next one is Keanu Reeves as Namor now Namor is one of the earliest Marvel characters of all time and he has been linked in the movies in Avengers Endgame there was an underwater earthquake and Namor is the ruler of the seas and it's also widely thought that Aquaman is copied from Namor so if Namor would enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe he would almost certainly enter into Black Panther because he has appeared in Black Panther comics and also featured in Avengers Endgame when they were in Wakanda so Keanu Reeves does resemble Namor now he may be too old to play the role it may depend what future Marvel how for them all whether they see him as a long-term character who's in the movies for 10 years and they may want to go for a younger actor who can develop the role as the character grows older over the 10 years but for me having a standout character household name like Keanu Reeves for them all would really build up this character and make it a central character that would excite many fans it's something personal I'd love to see now the next one is Lake Bell as She-Hulk now Lake Bell has appeared in a number of comedy movies so she does have that element and experience of working in a comedy role that Marvel might look to develop with She-Hulk now She-Hulk is her real name is Jennifer Walters and she's a lawyer and also the cousin of Bruce Banner and she had a blood transfusion from Bruce Banner and that gave her the genes to become She-Hulk so bringing in a She-Hulk and the Incredible Hulk together could develop those two characters and make a character arc that sees them working together or perhaps even opposing each other in separate storylines so having She-Hulk be a great character to complement the Incredible Hulk and make the Incredible Hulk even more interesting now the next one is almost certain to happen and that is Galactus but for me the actor to play him would be Michael Shannon Michael Shannon is a very talented and very natural actor so having someone as talented as Michael Shannon taking on that role would really suit the role he would be the next four if it was played by Michael Shannon really believable really talented actor and he can play all types of different roles so for me this is a real must if they're going to introduce Galactus into the Marvel Cinematic Universe they need to take on a really talented actor again leave your comments below if you have someone else in mind if you have any recommendations leave your comments below who you would like to see play Galactus. Now the next character is Moon Knight and this has been confirmed by Marvel that they are trying to develop this character whether it's into a standalone movie or part of a Disney Plus TV show and it may be a character that they introduce into both 
because they want to build a realm surrounding Disney Plus and the cinematic universe to get customers watching both Disney Plus and their movies at the box office. And for me, they need to have a range of different aged actors. So they have younger actors and also older actors like Andrew Lincoln, who's very experienced and will be a great actor for this role. They may look for someone who's more muscular, but for me, Andrew Lincoln does have that physique and look where he could pull this character off. Next one would be Mike Vogel. Now, he's mostly done TV work, but he could play the role of Adam Warlock. Now, Adam Warlock was teased in Guns of Galaxy Volume 2. So for me, this character is almost certain to appear. And I think they'll look for a lesser known actor, someone who would surprise many fans and come out of nowhere and become a main character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Instead of using household names, they need to mix it up, make sure they have a good mix of lesser known actors and also household names like Chris Hemsworth and Robert Downey Jr's. Now the next one is Dylan O'Brien as Nova. Now Dylan O'Brien is a quality actor. He has been in some mostly teenage movies and the movies haven't done as well as they could have done but Dylan O'Brien is a strong actor. He's very talented and he does look the role. So somebody young like Dylan O'Brien could take on the role of Nova and again Nova is one that Marvel have said they are really interested in introducing into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So somebody who's young and talented and quite well known and has a lot of experience could take on this role and really develop it into a strong character within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now the next one for me would be Woody Harrison as Beta Ray Bill. Now Beta Ray Bill is Thor's arch nemesis so if Thor is to leave it would only be fitting if Beta Ray Bill did enter the realm of Thor and for me the comedy role and somebody who could really pull it off would be Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is another very talented very popular actor who could play whether it's a cameo role or a leading role in any movie and really develop that character into his own. So for me not only does Woody Harrelson look like Beta Ray Bill and have that physique and shape he could carry this role off very well. Now it would certainly be a CGI character so again Woody Harrelson his physique won't be as important as his acting abilities so his acting abilities could really pull this character off. Again if you have any other suggestions leave them in the comments below but for me Beta Ray Bill is certain to appear at some point because he's the arch nemesis of Thor. Now onto the rumoured actors that are due to appear in Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the first one is Angelina Jolie who's due to play Cersei in The Eternals and it is rumoured and she's almost certain to appear as an actress at some point in Marvel. Now the next one who's listed on IMDb is comedian Kamal Najani. So he may have more of a comedic role within the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he has, it appears, officially signed on to appear in a Marvel movie. And the third and final actor rumoured to be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Richard Madden. Now he's also been rumoured to be the next James Bond so he may be struggle to play both roles based on the demand and the popularity. So it will be interesting to see what roles is currently being offered. Now it hasn't been confirmed what role is due to play but it could be Icarus however many other people are also looking for Alexander Skarsgård to play that role based on his appearance and his acting talent so there might be quite a demand around certain roles Marvel really need to pick the right actors to carry these characters off so these are the 10 actors and characters that could really develop Marvel Cinematic Universe in the future and also three actors that have been rumoured now if you have any suggestions what actors you would like to see in Marvel and what characters leave them in the comments below and also like and subscribe